There are many chapters in the progression of a football club's identity, pushed forward by people who believe, people who dare to build something meaningful, people who dare to progress. Our story began with Derek Brooks in 1946. Listen, John, a minute to tell you. I've been working on something. I think we should start our own football club and play here on Southampton Common. We could call ourselves Swadling Athletic. And this will be the logo. And so, on that day in 1946, Derek Brooks started it all, and our first chapter began. Under the logo, players came, they played, they helped us grow. Squads assembled and the club spirit was formed. The club progressed up the leagues. Progress became infectious and in 1980, it spilled over into the boardroom. Now, everyone in this room knows we've been progressing on the pitch, but we need to progress off the pitch too. We need to connect with the people of Eastleigh. So here's what I propose. We call ourselves Eastleigh Football Club. This, this is our new logo. And so, the next chapter came. Under the new name and new logo, players came and players played. Fans gathered and memories were made. Progress happened on the pitch and progress happened off the pitch. We grew. And now we move into a new chapter. A new era with a new identity. At the heart of our logo is the Spitfire, our club's nickname, and a proud representation of Eastleigh's history. This is the year 1946, the year Derek Brooks started it all. This is the shield that encapsulates the design. It will be worn with pride. This is the club's name, Eastleigh Football Club. It will forever tell people far and wide who we are. This is the new chapter. We are Eastleigh Football Club.